welcome to our pharma topics channel welcome to the 12th series of uh, clinical research and pharmacovigilance in this video we are going to see about uh, international classification of diseases and international non proprietary names of drugs first let us see what is international classification of diseases the international classification of diseases is a globally recognized system for categorizing and coding various diseases conditions and health related issues it is maintained by the world health organization uh, which is used by the healthcare professionals researchers policy makers and statisticians worldwide to standardize the classification of health conditions and ensure uh, consistency in medical coding and reporting it is useful for the physicians nurses pharmacists healthcare professionals insurers policy makers coders etc it is used worldwide for morbidity and mortality statistics the icd system provides a standardized way of coding the diseases injuries and other health related problems using alpha numeric codes these codes are used in medical records billing systems epidemiological studies health statistics to track and analyze the health trends allocate resources and make informed decisions in healthcare planning icd codes are regularly updated to reflect the advances in the medical knowledge changes in the diagnostic practices and evolving health conditioning let us see the history of icd in 1860 florence nightingale first made a systematic collection of the hospital data in 1893 uh, french uh, Uh, Jack Bertillon classified the causes of death in 1898 uh, the american public health association recommended the revision of icd in every 10 years so icd 1 uh, was uh, published in 19th uh, century icd 2 was published in 1910 icd 3 was published in 1921 icd 4 in 1930 icd 5 in 1939 icd 6 in 1949 ICD-7 in 1958, ICD-8 in 1968, ICD-9 in 1979, ICD-10 in 1999, and latest is ICD-11, which is published in 2020. It is available in uh, 43 languages. The most widely used version of the ICD is ICD-10, which was uh, released in 1992 and is currently in use by many countries around the world. however efforts have been made uh, to transition to the newer icd 11 which was officially released by who in uh, 2020 icd 11 provides uh, a more comprehensive and modern classification of diseases and health conditions it is five times bigger than the icd 10 it is prepared by 300 specialists from 55 countries contains uh, implement package uh, which contains uh, transition tables coding tool web servers manual and training material icd codes are structured hierarchically uh, with chapters organized by the body systems and specific conditions within those systems each code consists of a combination of letters and numbers that provide information about the disease its location and other relevant details for example c34.90 are opposed to the specific code for malignant neoplasm of the bronchus of the lung without specifying whether uh, it's primary or secondary and without uh, further detailing the subtype icd coding plays a crucial role in the healthcare system uh, that is management research policy development as it enables uh, consistent tracking reporting and analysis of health related data across different countries and healthcare systems let us see some of the Uh, uh, icd codes uh, for certain infections and uh, parasitic diseases like uh, malaria tuberculosis you can see the codes for neoplasms it is malignant uh, neoplasm of breast benign uh, neoplasm of skin it gives codes for diseases of blood and blood forming organs such as anemia leukemia it gives the codes for endocrine nutritional and metabolic disorders like uh, diabetes thyroid disorders it gives the codes for uh, mental and behavioral disorders such as uh, major depressive disorder schizophrenia diseases of the nervous system migraine alzheimer's uh, disease 
then diseases of the eye and add next are such as cataract glaucoma diseases of the ear and mastoid process diseases of the circulatory system diseases of the respiratory system diseases of uh, <coughs> digestive system such as gastric ulcer irritable bowel syndrome then diseases of skin psoriasis and dermatitis then diseases of the musculoskeletal system like arthritis uh, diseases of genito urinary system diseases uh, do occur during the pregnancy such as preeclampsia perinatal period such as uh, birth asphyxia congenital diseases like uh, cleft lip palate and down syndrome and uh, symptoms and signs of abnormal clinical and laboratory findings also there is a code uh, that is fever <coughs> fever of unknown origin then uh, there are codes for uh, injury poisoning and certain other consequences of external causes then external causes of uh, mortality like accidents factors influencing the health status such as obesity smoking and codes for special purposes so icd11 it's a uh, useful for uh, storage retrieval and analysis of the health information data and comparison it is useful in monitoring the incidence and prevalence of diseases causes of death and external cause of illness codes for antimicrobial resistance recording of rare diseases codes for patient safety framework as per who guidelines let us see what is international non proprietary names for drugs inns international non proprietary names for drugs are unique and globally recognized generic names assigned to pharmaceutical substances or active pharmaceutical ingredients that is apis the world health organization manages and establishes these names to provide a standardized nomenclature that can be used internationally regardless of the specific brand or manufacturer of the drug inns are designed to facilitate clear communication among the healthcare professionals regulators researchers and the public and to promote the appropriate use of medicines in it was initiated in 1950 by the world uh, health uh, assembly resolution began operating in 1953 at the start it had uh, approximately 150 drugs and at present approximately 7000 names are designed uh, designated in the inn it is useful for communication among the healthcare professionals and the scientists worldwide INN is intended for use in pharma labeling product information advertising and other promotional material uh, drug regulations and scientific literature and for assigning generic nomenclature in india section 13b of the trademarks act 1999 prohibits the registration of names of chemical elements or inns which have been declared by the who and notified by the registrar of trademarks let us see some of the examples uh, for anib uh, it is a angiogenesis inhibitor uh, it is denoted example pazopanib and anserin it denotes uh, serotonin receptor antagonist yes it uh, determines the enzymes and azepam it code it is the inn for uh, the diazepam like drugs like benzodiazepines then navir it indicates uh, protease inhibitors example nelfenavir then oil oil for beta blockers and cef for cephalosporins and iodine containing radio pharmaceuticals it will have io io b guane so it's a very short information of the icd and the inn i hope it will be useful for you thank you for listening happy learning kindly share this to more of your friends kindly subscribe to our pharma topics channel if you like this video kindly press the like button go through all the series of videos which is available in the playlist clinical research and pharmacovigilance in the pharma topics channel thank you